Hi, welcome to my Linux Mint 17.1 Rebecca. Let's have, have a quick look at my settings of the team, otherwise I'll have, have a lot of questions. What are you using for team? And stuff like that, so Greybird, Evolver, Black Folders, Vivid, Greybird, Master, DMZ and Amoka, which is this look here. That's what I'm using. That's not what the movie is about. Uh, somebody asked on uh, Google Plus, please explain us how to use Octopi, which is one of the programs, one of the conky programs or widgets that we are using on this computer and Conky Aurora is the one you need SourceForge there they talk about this Conky Octopi and which is print error yes I was printing something I'll look at that later and here you can download it and this is what we're talking about I'm going to explain a little bit how this code functions and what you should do in the meantime I can use um, as well uh, a little little bit uh, explanation about dual screens I'm looking uh, at my left screen at the moment my mouse and my right, uh, right monitor is now the Octopi let's change that and in the meantime you've learned that as well that you can go to your display and you can have two monitors side by side and set one as a primary one so this is the one where the menu and the dock is coming or you just put it off and apply it so now you can see what I see keep this configuration right so this is what we're talking about Octopi so um, what's uh, interesting to know is that whether well first off maybe let's not go straight to the code go to the Conkey manager go to Octopi this one and here you can change some uh, settings and as well here edit file manually in text editor so first this one you can move it around top right top middle bottom left and where you want with a horizontal cap or a vertical cap the size is not actually determined here but is determined in the file but it is the same size as in the file here whether you like it transparent or not it's up to you so this is the general settings and then you go to the file itself the file is not so much um, um, I has, has of course some variables but as you can see underneath here here the code starts but actually all the code is in the Lua, the main Lua file which we're going to see later on this just tells if, if Spotify is running then you get myself the song, get the, the album and stuff like that and if not just do, don't do anything nothing in between so if Spotify not running nothing is done so this is the one that's going to be responsible all the designs and all the drawings and all the icons and everything is actually in here and since I am telling you all this I must give a compliment to Akshendra Pratap Singh I hope I am saying that correctly so this is the one the guy who has made Octopi and I'm only the guy who puts the temperature and uh, the Spotify icon with it and a bit of a bit of layout a bit smaller smaller coding okay so without further ado what do we do we actually should go to the conky file Aurora theme and there you will find Octopi and the one that's important maybe quick look at the icons I've already installed there you can add your own icon with your own number it should be a PNG so it's transparent and you can name more you can change this one edit this one in GIMP or something open with and have fun with it and change it once more but please afterwards share with others that's the Linux way to do it we are going to look at this one this one is the code, the main file where everything is inside so the question was actually how do you change it, what, what is, is uh, happening uh, where come the pictures from and, and stuff like that so uh, where should you edit it it starts somewhere here, uh, the centered image is the way, let's make this minimized, that minimized this is a centered image what do you like to have, a centered image 
here I have some options so you just can put a minus minus in front and it's gone check it out let's save it first and then check it out voila design is gone whether I like Ubuntu one or I'm more a, a fan of um, I don't know Linux Mint one no idea what design that is Linux Mint one is in color but since it's a more monochrome design at some point I decided to start using black and white as design let's have a look at this one and this changes quickly so it's that easy the only thing is to know where you should go to have uh, all these little changes um, what else should I change so you can have two designs white or dark in the code I'm always working with the white but that's me so let's quickly go to the settings here you decide how large the octopi is going to be so the width and the height whether you're on a VLAN also wireless LAN or an Ethernet cable how many cores there's an old computer so two and color scheme if you want to have it dark or white and of course if you want to change the color then you should also think about this one and change the color as well here here are the colors FFF is just all out meaning all ones meaning light and 000 is all dark so black so whatever you choose uh, you can choose it here and here you can fill in your password but fill in login and password in the gmail dot sh line 21 not used for the moment kept in for future lua solution so still thinking whether i can find a way to figure out lua to ask how many mails have are unread but in the meantime i'm not using this information here and i'm going to the this file here to the gmail dot shell and i suppose yeah i thought so gmail.shell is of course part of one of my scripts that are working and gmail.shell this is the pi so um, wondering where it is I don't think it's the pi source is where I got it no it's not it I'll figure it out later I'll see it in the code where it is pointing to so let's further go on to the main.lua and here if you want to change the uh, fonts you can do so control find and then you find all the fonts control H in sublime we are working with sublime text you can change the instant consolata with Arial or Ubuntu or whatever you like yeah? so that changes quickly every font that's called in consolata and uh, what else? What should I change more? I'm scrolling down the system. Here I've taken the dot home. If it was originally the dot root, so no, so without this, that's the root. But I rather have an eye on my home partition. How many gigabytes have left there? So I changed the root into home and for the rest there are some smaller changes I made for colors if the color is going to be uh, disk e out so in out so the operations figure out how many how, how uh, much is used for writing data away the only thing I put that in is because I have a little batch which is going to make a copy of all my, my home directory and I want to see when it's finished and then I shut off the computer so the icon will blow glow up and it's going to be red one is red and so red green blue and how much of it so transparency all of it's transparent and when you really want it red 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 it's going to be one here at the end don't forget to use a dot not a comma will not work then so these are the colors and when uh, the computer is going to back up everything that has
has been changed network here it gets the interface that's in your file here it's if you put in Ethernet here or WLAN then it's getting this here um, this is all about nstat gmail here's the gmail I'm pointing to this one so execute so if I'm not reading this wrong it should be just right where we were uh, here it is oh, I've missed it so it's inside the Octopi folder as well gmail.sh it should be it should run it should execute but it does that normally by itself but the only thing you have to do is fill in login mail so your your own mail gmail of course so I've, I've left that in and your password of the gmail and the rest is going to figure out how many mails you still have open moving on battery edit a small picture that uh, because I, I'm not using this on a on a laptop I've added this one telling if and this is the message you get when there is no battery present so if this action here gives in text a U so if text is U then no text and give me a message from no battery and where is this no battery image coming from white no battery okay that's how it works time and day added to Spotify nothing much to be said here at the temperature for me this is my temperature this is the way I find out my temperature so control alt T sensors this is my ability to find out my heating of my my system here you see I have core 0 so what do you do sensors grab core 0 if, if it's not core 0 with temp 1 you use grab temp 1 and then you print the third variable being one two and then three in my case okay so you can change that for yourself again here's something about temperature if it's going above 80 percent um, temperature yes it's we're talking about temperature okay so when it's overheating it's becoming too hot 80 degrees it's going to paint the icon the uh, red which is okay as a message watch out it's going to overheat well we've gone through the complete main Lua the every time yes somebody asked me where do, do the images come from so in the folder dark are the dark images and in the folder white are the white images as you can see here so it's going to be green green color so 46 percent I'm using Kazam to, to make the, the movie so oh look 58 thank you so it's it's changing the color because of uh, the actions that are done on the computer as well if I should make a, a backup which is right here present scripts Eric copy Eric everything is going to be copied just look at this one here it's changing color because of the numbers that are written here and it's going to get I suppose red please get red for my example 16 35 there we go we've crossed the border one of the figures inside so control find disk input output so here it says if you go over 120 make yourself red red green blue voila and it's red and here we have the border as well which is red so all of this stuff you can change it all the colors you can change it and you can add stuff you can add more um, arms to it but <laughs> it's actually pretty full I had to manage uh, Spotify and the temperature to get it in between I was thinking of getting rid of swap because yeah swap is always zero percent with me but left it in 
So if something is needed, I suppose Wop is going to get out of it. Okay, so I hope Octopus is now a bit more clear and you can experiment with it. And please, if you do, share it with the community. Bye for now.